Olympic Stadium, the Expos and the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're tied 1-1. It's the bottom of the night. Rick Roden is on the mound for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And Andre Dawson is a hitter for the Expos. And Duke, in a situation like this, you couldn't ask for a better hitter at the plate. Well, that's right, Dave. I've been through this situation many times in my career, and I know what Andre Dawson's thinking right now. He's He's got to get a base hit. This is his biggest as bad of the year. Roden missed low, ball one. One ball and no strikes. And you can just feel the tension. Imagine what has to be going through Andre's mind. Dawson taking a strike, and the count is one and one. That must have been the cut fastball that Roden throws. One ball and one strike. You know in the dugout they can feel the tension there. The players are excited. The fans are at the edge of their seats. And Andre Dawson is waiting patiently in the batter's box, that familiar Andre Dawson stance. Dawson waiting for the pitch. One ball and one strike. Roden checks in. He's got the sign. And here we go, the 1-1 pitch coming up. Anybody. Seems like you're the only one who can get a job around here. Oh, something will turn up. When I was a kid, you know, get me out of trouble. He's only 12. I can use the pocket change, though. He'll manage. We managed before. down and find him. He's in the park. I want to rush him. Well, he knows you're back. You both do. Don't you know what time dinner is? It's no good. It's gonna have to do. But don't start asking for anything. You wasn't asking for anything. I'm about to. I wasn't. Dad? The expos are back. Want to go? We can't afford it. 
I got tickets. Pierre got them for me. And he says if we go a bit early, I can ask Dawson for an autograph. He knows him. So can we go? Take me. Well, he said he would. Yeah. We'll work on him. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow, Hawk. Hi there, my nephew. You want an autograph? Okay, no problem. Let's go, Hawk. Thanks, Andre. May I have my cap, please? Son, my cap, please. Steve, give Mr. Dawson's cap. Steve. Well, I guess I can get another one. Would you like for me to sign it for you? There you go. Thanks, Andre. Take care now. should be quite a game, Duke. Dave, I think so. Two great pitchers going today, and of course, I think it'll be a low-scoring game. Dawson in the batter's box and waiting. Roden is ready to work. Dawson takes a pitch, and it's a strike. One ball and one strike to count. The fans here at Olympic Stadium sitting on the edges of their seats. Andre Dawson getting ready. Dawson can hit the ball out of any ballpark built. We'll see what he does. Let's go, Hawk! What a matchup. 
Andre Dawson with an awesome swing. He's made contact and he's put a charge into this. It's a drive to deep left field. That ball is up, up, and away. It's a home run for Andre Dawson. Go wash your hands. Okay. I know, sweetheart, I know. I looked everywhere. My dad. I'll talk to your dad. My dad's a lawyer. If 
you'll wait here a moment. Sit down. Uh, you too, young man, over there. I didn't get your name. Uh, mine's Hudson. Hi, Diamond. Well, Mr. Diamond, from what I can gather from Dan here, it appears that you can prove that the cap actually did belong to your boy. I was there when he got it. But you accept that my boy bought it in good faith? Yeah, but it doesn't mean he can keep it. Of course not. But he should probably get his money back. Would you be prepared to give him, say, a finder's fee of $10 that he paid for? It hardly seems fair. Ten bucks is ten bucks. Tell you what, I don't suppose you'd want to sell the cap. Sell it. Baseball cap. Yes. What do you think, Steve? All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Two fifties, just like that. I can't remember the last time I saw it. Be like you. You let them take my cup. I don't want to be like you ever. Why don't you just stay away? Dad, that cap wasn't worth a hundred dollars. Listen, there are a lot of people out there who aren't as lucky as you. We should try and help people who are having a rough time, understand? Yes. Okay, go play. Okay. the cap and then this man bought it and he took the money. Why did he have to come back? I hate him. I hate him so much. Time you did. Fine.
don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. We're doing a lot of thinking, and uh, I guess if I was you, I wouldn't want to be like me either. It's just that people like me, money scares us, makes us a bit crazy. You don't know about that yet. What I did was wrong. It was your cap and I shouldn't have sold it. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm ashamed of what I did. The best that I can do is maybe uh, you could let me play catch with you sometime. I bucks buy a couple pretty nice mitts. You do know what it meant to me. Yes, son, I do. Well, I guess we could play a bit. If you wanted. Why, very much. <laughs> 